Hello, and welcome to the InfoAx demo. This brief video will show you why you need InfoAx and how you can get started. InfoAx is a search engine for your personal browsing history. With InfoAx, every page that you visit on the internet gets added to a collection called your personal web memory. To begin using InfoAx, you must first download the toolbar. We will explain how to do this at the end of the video. Let's take a closer look at the toolbar. The InfoAx button takes you to the InfoAx search engine website. Or you can search the web memory directly from the toolbar by typing a query in the box. For example, to search the iPhone 3G, you can type iPhone 3G and hit enter or hit the search button. Quicklinks is a collection of your most frequently visited websites, so you can easily visit them again using the shortcuts. The record button, which can be toggled on and off, determines which pages can be added to your personal web memory. When the button says record is on, every page that you visit gets added to your web memory. When the button says record is off, pages you visit do not get added to your web memory. The share button lets you conveniently share web pages that you're on with your friends over email. InfoAx also allows you to tag web pages or give them labels to help organize your web memory. InfoAx is also integrated with Google, Yahoo, and MSN search engines. You can search on Google, for example, just as you normally would, and InfoAx will show results from your web memory on the side. One benefit of using InfoAx is that if you know you visited a website in the past, you can be lazy the next time you search for it. For example, if you are enrolled in Math 103 at Stanford and wanted to visit the course website again, instead of typing Math 103 and Stanford, you will only need to type Math 103, and InfoAx will show you the most relevant results. Also, because InfoAx automatically saves all the pages that you visited, there is no more need to go through the trouble of bookmarking. So, if you once saw an IKEA couch on Craigslist that you really liked, you can get back to it easily with InfoAx. Clicking on the InfoAx logo takes you to InfoAx.com. This lets you see a longer list of results. Also, you can use the Pivot feature, which lets you go back in time. If you click the Pivot button under the particular website, it brings up all the other websites that you visited around that time, say within a couple of hours. Clicking on the Tags link takes you to a page that shows you your bookmarks and tags. You can click on a particular tag to see all the websites having that tag. This concludes the InfoAx demo. Now, we'll show you in more detail how to download the InfoAx toolbar. To download the InfoAx toolbar for Firefox, click on the link Get our Firefox toolbar at the top of the InfoAx homepage. Firefox may ask for your permission to install the software. Click Edit Options and click Allow. Then close the window. After that, you'll need to click on the link again. The software will then install and you'll need to restart Firefox. If you're using Internet Explorer and would like to download the InfoAx toolbar, click on the link Get our IE toolbar. Click on Run, then click on Run again. On the Setup window, select Next, then Install. Click on Finish to restart the browser. This concludes the InfoAx demo. We hope you find InfoAx useful. Thanks, and if you have issues or questions, send an email to feedback at infoax.com.